What's this? Look! She's squishy again. Ray Ray was like a rock, but now she's back to squishy, Kay. Has she recovered? Uh... Edge. Yes, Raimi. It's me. Edge. Did something... bad happen to you? What? what are you talking about? Not at all. Nothing bad. But now that you're better, I... I see. Sarah? Yes, I'm traveling along with your friends now. I'm very happy that you're doing well. By the way, how is it that you recovered? <gasps> Wait a second. What do you mean by that? Ray Ray got all better because of the medicine, Kay? Well, yes, the remedy does cure stone sickness, of course. But the problem is, it doesn't usually happen this quickly. Hmm, what you say is true. Huh? Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you're well too. I don't like to see anyone turn to stone. It's just, what would you call it? Curiosity? Everything about your sickness was very unusual. From the short incubation period to how slowly it progressed. So I was just a little curious, that's all. I'm sorry, I hope I didn't upset you. No, it's okay. I suppose keeping secrets isn't the best idea. Raimi? Edge, I'm sorry. I'd hoped I could just keep all this to myself forever. What are you talking about? Let me guess. Does this have something to do with the mark that showed up on your neck a moment ago? Oh. So, you have seen it. All right. I guess I'll explain everything. Our homeworld, Earth, suffered radiation contamination on a massive scale, making it uninhabitable for normal humans. Scientists performed endless experiments looking for some way, any way, to adapt us to the severe environment. One of those experiments was called Project Hope. It was a plan to create a race of superhumans able to thrive under the harshest conditions imaginable. Earth was once home to an ancient race with extraordinary survival abilities. Using their DNA, some special children were born, the seeds of hope. They possessed supernormal abilities, but the experiment produced only three successes. I happen to be one of them. The second is Crow. Crow? And the third one... The third one is you, Edge. Me? Normally, our bodies are no different from those of natural humans. But when we're faced with crises or when we experience strong emotions, the crests on our bodies activate and we gain access to supernormal powers. Hasn't it ever happened to you, Edge? Now that you mention it... My capacity for adaptation is especially strong. Whatever environment or disease I come in contact with, my body adjusts to it on its own. The reason my incubation period was so fast and the progress of the disease was so slow is because my body was attempting to adapt. And the reason the remedy cured me so quickly is because those powers of adaptation stimulated the healing process. Remember what I said to you before, Edge? That something like this couldn't kill me? 
Even if the entire world fell to an end, would survive. That's what it means to be one of the seeds of hope. We aren't normal human beings. <gasps> and this ancient race of people are the Mu'a? When the Cardianon said, direct descendants of the Mu'a, that's what he was talking about. Yes. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you all are talking about. But I can tell that it probably wasn't something I should have brought up lightly. I'm terribly sorry. Not at all. It was kind of relieving, actually. Lim? I don't really get it either, Kay. But Ray Ray... You're still Ray Ray, right? You're still the Ray Ray we've been with all along, right? That's all that matters, Kay. I didn't know what to do when you were saying all those weird things, Kay. <laughs> Edge, Raimi, you're both my friends, and that's all that matters. From the moment you saved me to the very end. Mary. I have nothing particular to say either. It remains a fact, after all, that meeting you two has brought warmth to my cold steel body. Why, you almost seem bashful, Bacchus. I believe this is my cue to exit. I'd rather you not see my own bashful face, so I will say nothing. Well then, I suppose we'll be going too. Good night, Kay. Well, I... Well, uh... Sleep tight, you two. <sighs> Edge, are you mad at me? No, that's not it. It's just, well, it's a bit of a shock. Seeds of hope, huh? That's what they called us. They were counting on us to bring hope and happiness to mankind, but I hate it. I hate what it's given me. Raimi. Back when I was little, some of my friends took me to play in one of the forbidden areas. We didn't think much of it. But... We were contaminated. All of us. Irradiated so badly we had no hope. My friends all died in terrible pain from the contamination. This power of mine, it just refused to let me die. The adults all blamed me, said it was my fault. She's a monster, they said. She's not human. Rainy, stop. Why the hell did you survive? You should have died like them, screaming in pain. That's enough. But then, Mom and Dad told me the truth. They told me, it's okay, you're going to bring happiness to us all. But how? Who could I possibly make happy? Someone like me, someone who can live without a care in the world. Raimi. Edge. Raimi. You make me happy just by being alive. And I know Crow would say the same. My power isn't anything special at all. But... You're different. Everyone suffering from stone sickness here will get the medicine they need because of what you've done. So please... Stop looking so sad. You can accomplish something. I know it. 
Don't worry. Take all the time you need. Sooner or later, the old edge will come back. <sighs> You've never... done anything wrong. I'm sorry. I do need more time. But... Thank you. I feel a little better. Don't think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Pretty nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know. You think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That's sort of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? <laughs> why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? How about you hand that thing over? Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look. This sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. What? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly respect it. Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over. Yeah. Ugh. You little bastard! <laughs> <laughs> who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little... All right, that's it. You're gonna die, man! Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot-free. 